Um, so, for anyone who doesn't know us, we are the Three Sisters Collective from here in Santa Fe. Three Sisters Collective was started by these three um, Pueblo women that I'm standing next to. And we saw the need to make space for Native people in Santa Fe and to re-indigenize and rematriate Santa Fe, and that is our goal. We do that um, through various events. Um, we've been on the stage many, many times. I joke that anytime I hang out with Christina, we end up on the stage, and here we are. <laughs> so, we, um, we just want to thank everyone for your support. Um, we have Autumn Gomez. <laughs> Autumn Billy, myself, Terry, Christina Castro, and Melissa Rose. And there's a lot more in the background. We are the core members, but we have allies and collective members that help us all throughout the year. So I just want to, I just want to give um, everyone a little background on how we ended up here today. So this happened all really fast. On Monday, we got the, we were in a meeting. We were in a Zoom meeting for a, a mural grant that we're applying for. So hopefully you're all going to see some indigenous art around town. <laughs> and we cut the meeting short because we heard that the Onyate statue was going down. And so we all hopped in the car and drove up near OK Wenge. And in that process, we were like, the obelisk has to come down now. We posted on social media, and that was a few days ago, and now here we are. <laughs> So in between now and then, um, we reached out to allies that we have. Surge is supporting us. Red Nation, um, Walk the Talk, Indigenous Women Rising, Tewa Women United, Santa Fe Wild Black, Santa Fe Dream Team, Santa Fe Dream Team, Alas de Agua, New Mexico Dreamers. All these organizations saw that we wanted to do this and we all came together organically and worked together to put this on today and we want to thank everyone who's supporting us and safety was a huge concern if you all saw the new mexican trying to stir the flames and we're really grateful to see how peaceful today has turned out so we um and we uh we pulled in jay Bigay, who's somewhere back here and <laughs> she became our impromptu media person. We wrote a letter to the mayor and city council. The mayor was very re responsive. We had an hour, a meeting with him an hour later and he agreed to remove all three statues that we requested. And if you, all, if you didn't hear the news this morning, the DeVarga statue is already gone. The top of this one is gone, but um, for safety concerns, they have not removed the whole thing yet. And then the other one is the Kit Carson um, one by the courthouse. Woo! So my, my point in telling you how we got to this, to where we are today is that this is not our job. We are just community members, just like you all. And we, we can all do this and you can all do this and we need to continue to do things like this and work together and come together to make Santa Fe and everywhere safer for indigenous people, for black people, for brown people, for immigrants, for everybody. And I just wanna say on top of that, that women are pretty badass and we get shit done. In that um, regard, 
I do want to acknowledge some of our um, our community leaders that have supported us. Unfortunately, we only have one true ally on city council, and that is Renee Villarreal. <laughs> she has always supported us and indigenous people in Santa Fe in general. And it's sad that that's the only city councilor that we can say that about, and hopefully that's gonna change. Yeah. And I wanna read a statement from Renee. Um, and Renee couldn't be here today um, due to concerns with uh, coronavirus. I stand in solidarity with the Three Sisters Collective and my other indigenous sisters, brothers, and gender non-conforming relatives in the removal of the monuments and statues that represent white supremacy, colonialism, and genocide. These depictions create division, false narratives, and misconceptions of our past and present, rather than a means to honor and celebrate our shared and connected cultural heritage and history. I am proud to be on the right side of history. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and um, let Mayor Weber say a few words.